A lot of people. So we started saying, uh, I'm glad it's you not. You guys it. didn't, and this is what it's like when you put the mirror up. We don't want to hear or see that. This is what it is. That's what she's doing. And putting this mirror up makes you deviate to trick yourselves into finding things that you don't like. She can't be telling the truth. She didn't do that. No way she went to that restaurant or that department store and talked and mentioned an Asian owner. You know, because she did show likeness to Asians in this video. But if I'm willing to show likeness to Asians in the video, why would I say that the owner was Asian? She would have said the owner was black. But let me go and say that the owner was Asian, which would unravel my narrative if I had one. And you don't think that she said that this is what it is, bro. We ain't I'm never saying, gonna get better, bro. I'm saying even if we did, don't want. <sighs> okay, fine. <sighs> I just said <sighs> even if the bitch went up to the <sighs> Asian man and said it, even if she did say it, I would have pulled a Logan and said off. I wanted to highlight this woman who has a YouTube channel. On YouTube, she goes by the name of this Bahamian gal. This Bahamian gal. She's a, she's a, um, it's from Bahamas. She's Caribbean. Caribbean. She's mm. a Caribbean girl. And she's commenting on black culture. And even though she's not in America, she still decides that she's going to comment on this bad boy. So with fair use, go take out her channel and let me know what you guys think. Here? How did we go from this to this? From polished and dignified to sagging pants and bonnets. From songs about upliftment and empowerment to songs about lasciviousness and degeneracy mm. and this and this from spending time with our kids to oh, as the years go by episode. we're seeing a greater devolution of black culture Chicago. popped up by communities and politicians determined to sit back and watch the destruction of black communities one thing is for certain times have changed. No longer do our kids have a healthy fear of authority, parents in the neighborhood. Now it's the parents in the neighborhood that fear the kids. It's the students who now have control of the classroom. When you teach physics, like Bobby Sinji, you expect students to get frustrated. But never like this. He got mad and he kind of lost his balance and, and sort of acted out. Politicians coddle us and condone our behavior fearful of criticizing the very constituents who are responsible for their re-election. I don't appreciate you coming and am trying to ambush me here. The vast majority of the young people who came downtown came downtown because it was a great um, weather and an opportunity to enjoy the city. That's absolutely entirely appropriate. Um, there are a few that came with different intentions and they have, they have and they will be done. Chicago. Um, but I'm not going to... Chicago's um, mayor. That's the like former that's Chicago mayor. Chicago is on highlight in this toxic video. Chicago do better. I'm wrong uh, to say that it's made. This week, like we're Rufus. discussing the devolution of black culture. Let's go. She said the evolution of black culture. We're talking about it. She has very pretty skin. Yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Rogan, and this is This Bahamian Rogan. Gal on my platform. This Bahamian Gal, her name for is For my Rogan. do social commentary and reaction videos. You know, Rather whenever I do touchy... First of all, I just got to say that I'm, I'm really proud to see a black woman hold some accountability for her own black people. Even though she's not in America, a lot of people will take root with the fact that she's not an American gal. Mm -hmm. But she's black. And she's just as su subject to the... Influences drama and America. bullshit. That I don't. Did. I don't shoot the yeah. messenger. I just want to hear what the message is first. Videos like this, I can expect one of three reactions in the comments section. The first is from individuals who are in full agreement and alignment with what I'm she saying. The second is from individuals who are in slight agreement with what I've said, but they usually have a lot of excuses and explanations for why black people behave. That is the sad rewards of the world. A lot of excuses for why black people are this way make excuses for our kind and that's most of the people for some african americans white people and other non-black people are not permitted to speak on black issues because if they do well they're racist then of course black people from african nations or the caribbean try to weigh in on the conversation and they are also barred from having these conversations because they're not american if they speak out of turn they are considered tethers and coons 
because they're simply just trying to kiss up to white people. Then finally, there are African Americans who don't like the trajectory we're on, and they're fearful of speaking up because every time they do, they're labeled Uncle Toms and sellouts. Yep. Let the record reflect yep. that I am in fact a black woman and I have no intention of not speaking on these issues if I think that they're affecting our community. So I say all that to say this. If you are someone who is bothered by someone's difference of opinions and thoughts and you don't like having your faults called out by someone who is not American, then this is not the video for you. Let me just stop and say, there's a lot of people that don't want to have, to have their thoughts called out by anybody no matter what the source is. Yeah. Like I told Sally Ward on Friday, when you shine the light in their face, bro, it's like a vampire in the sun. <sighs> they start to get crazy. Just log off. <laughs> black culture as a whole is not degenerate. And for those of you who are watching and you think that black culture is simply African-American culture, you are wrong. Because black culture also includes Caribbean culture, African culture, South American culture, European culture. There are black people all over the world and they have their culture and their mores. So that's my first disagreement. So it's not just American culture that we're referring to. So now that that's out of the way, let's get into the crux of the video. I remember growing up and seeing black people taking so much pride in who they were and what they stood for. Just to see black people in their element when I was growing up was something special. I saw people mm -hmm. who were well-read, who were educated, who were sophisticated, who were polished, and honestly, almost regal. But it seems somewhere down the line, our culture just started to become incredibly degenerate. I don't know the nexus of it, but it's just been going downhill for a number of decades. And I know that without serious condemnation and intervention, things are only going to get worse for us. I'm going to start with the low hanging fruit here and I'm going to start with how we just stopped caring about our parents. When you look back at men and women in the 40s, 50s, 60s and even 70s, Suits. I, I think there was just something so elegant about the way that we carried ourselves. Even though a lot of black people were not rich, they didn't have a substantial means, they didn't have the finest threads. You just look at the way that they dressed, you could tell that there was a great deal of pride in the way they looked. They wanted to show people that, hey, we are elegant people, we are decent people. And at that time, a lot of people viewed black people as less than their white counterparts. Even when you look in the 70s and you saw those men and those women with their big afros, there was a set, there was such a huge sense of pride in the way that they looked. And you could tell by the way they walked down the street that they wanted to look fresh, they wanted to look clean. So we've always been interested in looking nice as a people. Today, the landscape is completely unrecognizable. I see black women going outside with bonnets on they not just to the food Ooh, store man. either i'm talking about government That's buildings the airport, and offices. Dog. they're wearing these bonnets pajamas just attire that really should be left at home men are walking around with sagging pants or wife beaters Stupid. it looks like some of yeah. them just rolled out of bed i like to share my story i just gotta say this bro when i was when i was thugging i never sagged my pants i never liked it never you did huh I mean, I had baggy, I had baggy pants. Yeah, I, I did the shit back in the day a little bit. Yeah, ignorant nigga, bro. Yeah. I still don't understand why people do it to this day. It never looked good. That shit is weird. When you get shot at, you trip out, you trip over your pants and you die. I never was to the like, point bro, where bro, you would think up, if you're gonna be a, if you're gonna gang bang, do it right, right? Is it if you can't run away when niggas are shooting at you? Is them it, niggas. I mean, you know how many first forty eight episodes and real bodies I've seen yeah, on the street is where their the butt is, is out, out the and they're dead. Out, you know what? Because you was running and yo. <laughs> She clapped over herself because you couldn't run and you got your back blown out, bro. I Just mean, some of the dumbest shit. I would got say your I back sagged, blown out. but when I got to like 16, 17, it stopped. But it was more so, that was a phase. Yeah. All right, see, it was you, a phase. And you fell victim to it as well because in our culture, it was taught that sagging is cool. But see, I had I wore I wore basketball shorts and then I wore clothes on over, over top of the basketball shorts. So you, if it sounds sagging, like you're sagging. making excuses, like no, she I'm said, not making. Excuses? I'm, Are you I'm sad not, awarding this bitch? I am not sad. I'm explaining the situation, and that's what it was. Oh, I told you, acknowledge. I sagged. Bitch. I stopped. Oh, okay. But it was the. I'm just letting you know the style. I had All two. Right, for sure. I wore basketball shorts and then I wore pants over that, and I needed those pants to be bigger. So that's what it was stories i know some of you are like sick of my stories but i'm an observer i'm always watching what people are, are doing how they're acting in public um and so i like to share these stories just to kind of drive the point home i remember being in jfk airport i was there with uh, family members and we were waiting at the carousel for our luggage to come and these two black girls were standing there in pajamas these huge silk bonnets or satin bonnets on their heads and fuzzy slippers it looked like they just rolled out of bed and not just came off of a plane and if that weren't bad enough, as everybody's standing there waiting for their luggage, this girl proceeds to take out a toothbrush and put toothpaste on her toothbrush 
and she started brushing her teeth at the carousel. And I looked over and I saw some black folks just looking and you can see the condemnation in their eyes. You could see the internal head shake. I looked over, I saw some white people just watching it, just their eyes were just on them. But these are the things that we do and what always bothers me is that we always have someone who will justify that type of behavior. They think there's nothing wrong with it. And I don't know if these individuals are trolling or if they are just poorly socialized, or they might be people who do those things so they get upset when someone calls another person out because that is what they do. I roll my eyes every time I see a young man with the pants hanging down to the point where their underwear and sometimes the butt crack is exposed. And I've, I've walked behind so many men just looking at their butt cracks. It's like, what are you doing? You're outside in public and you're dressed like this. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be fashionable. I know that fashions change over the years and I'm certainly no prude, but I also don't want to see your butt crack and I don't want to see your underwear. Every time I see a black man. I am on it. I was freaking. This happened multiple times. Dude was sagging and he had the Hanes drawers on. He didn't have boxers. He had, he had, the had, he had, he had briefs. I'm a brief guy. He oh. had briefs oh, okay. and his briefs were tight. And he had booty too. <laughs> Bro. This man's cheek, his whole butt was out, and that shit was in his where's, crack. Where's the button? And it was just. Where's the button? You gotta play the button. You gotta play the button. I'm only saying that because his <laughs> butt's in my face. You gotta play the Bro, button. Bro, he got no. this fool. He was thugging and sagging with voluptuous cheeks, and all I saw was a blue ch butt with. The line in those cheeks, nigga, so you, you saw the the definition of the meat, <laughs> nigga. You bro, are I'm a like, warrior. Nigga, get this <laughs> nigga is I a didn't... warrior, bro. Jesus I'm only Christ. keeping it a thousand with y'all. I didn't, I didn't think it was you attractive. Was I was disgusted by it, <laughs> but I'm like, dang, I should not be able to Nasty. see that definition like that, bro. That shit crazy. Teenager, young preteen, wow. whomever, or grown man with their pants sagging. I always think about this show that I watched years ago called Lock Up. There was a guy on that program, and I'm sure many of you know him, or have seen him at least. Uh, his name is Cleese Johnson. <laughs> he looks like an incarcerated Samuel L. Jackson. Soon as I heard that him. name, and I think the I heard, I knew exactly point, what she was talking uh, about. <laughs> made fun of him, or, you know, spoofed him. I a grip, 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 Oh, God damn. I said, can I grip yours? He said, yeah. Next thing I know, I'm fucking him. Or something like that. But anyway, he spent four decades in prison. I think he may still be in prison. And he talked Mom, about he out these young men that would come He's into out. the prison with their pants sagging and why he loved when they did that. It gave him and his cohorts a peek at what those young men were working with. And they knew what they wanted just based on what they saw with their pants hanging. I like booty. You know, they got this thing where they shave their pants past their butt. It's a style. They call it some sort of gangster style. You know, it's sexy to us, right? And see, but they were prepared for this, right? So you shave your pants in her, man, somebody be up in your butt. You know, and it just so Every time I see a black man with his pants sagging, I immediately think about fleece. Huh? Let's talk about our treatment of women, how we treat our women. I am a firm believer that a man is supposed to love and respect a that. woman, mm -hmm. but I see that there are so many black men who just don't know how to do that. Yep. They are very disrespectful towards women. I've never seen an Asian man calling his girlfriend or his child's mother or his wife the B word. Because you don't I've never what seen saying. it. A lot of That's our men true. will That's disrespect. Not our That's you not true. You don't subscribe. No, I don't subscribe to that. There goes this donation right there for you guys to read. That's him, Elbert Choice, hundred dollar dono. That's what we do here. So what I was saying is, and so now you're justifying the reasoning of why he's yelling or or reason. Because what makes no, you think I'm saying that like, like when you get mad, you curse. Obviously, but yeah, yeah, the difference in my opinion, in my belief, is that black men call their women the b word even when they're not arguing, even the even Ignorant, even yeah. their wife, even their girlfriend, even the person that they're dating, even the person that's their wife. What I don't know, no black what man. They, how do they that say that, his wife's a bitch? How do they say that you're with somebody? Oh, my bitch. That's, that's my not bitch. his wife. That's my bitch. That. I would they say that about wife. their girl. I think she's thinking you're about a lying. husband you're and a wife. Hey, no, bro, she said, wife. Girlfriend, baby mama. Wife, girlfriend, baby. Okay, stay there. Their love interest. I think, I think well, baby Mexicans, mama, you already know. That's there's a lot of men that say, either. that's my bitch. Mexicans, Asians, I think, in, to, to generalize it, I think men are the same. I think black nigg niggas are worse, but. I don't think Asians say, that's my bitch. Ever. Oh, she's no call, so she, bitch. 
No. You don't know, hey bro, you don't know what the fuck no. they're saying. You're you seeing your your mate, you nah. Don't I, I'm no. not gonna put that on them when oh, we so, 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 but you've heard a Mexican call a girl a perra. Perra. Probably, but not like a it's, bitch. You're a bitch. You don't act say, like you never heard a Mexican heina. call. That say, that's that's not, my heina. Let, Bitch, no matter no, how you want to do, girl. bitch, you you said you've heard that you heard it okay, said. Okay, sure. So we're not, all I'm saying is black men are but not you said Asian, as so. that. We were talking about Asians. Sure, we I think I think too. Your your the level of respect and the tolerance is different. That's what I think. Mm. I think an Asian will sit there and take that shit, and then I mean, a black woman won't. Ah, uh, interesting. I think it, I think black people do take it to the next level of that because I've seen plenty of them, plenty of dudes be like, "Hey, bro, hey, that's my bitch right there." Is that your, who's that? Oh, yeah, that's my bitch, bro. Yeah, that's my, that's my bitch. Exactly. Yeah, I'm with Heimdall. Nah, Kian, if you don't really know, how can we assume that they do? I mean, you're assuming how, the wait, worst. Wait, 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 wait. You're assuming. You're a human being. Wait, you're a human being, too. So how can you, what do you mean There's assume? culture difference. So, bro. wait, wait, wait. The Asian culture you, has much more respect for it. Motherfucker, you didn't like watch it. the Family Eye clip where Peter Griffin slapped the wife shit and <laughs> farted on her face? Nigga, the shit happened. <laughs> Nigga, that's Asian, not, shut up. That's... No, no, that, that's but that is the depiction. He's making a comedic joke. Sure. But the shit wasn't true. If the shit, it, 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 he didn't just pull that shit out of his But that ass. was a white person. That was, he was depicting himself as an Asian. Uh-huh. Beating his wife, uh -huh. shut the fuck up, go cook and clean my shit. So let's not pretend like they're not abusive either. That's all I'm saying. I think that abusive people are abusive no matter what religion or race they I are. I agree with that. That's just the I person. As a culture of people, a I, race of people, Asians are not disrespectful towards their mates generally. I think I think it's this though. Okay. When it comes to black men, most black men that that and look at me, comes I'm to this situation, <laughs> it's because a lot of, as, as we said before, a lot of these females call themselves, hey, they homegirl bitches, they this that and other. So when a man comes at that female like that in that moment, he's coming at her the same way that that her, her own girl or what the, did or you what's yourself say, that, though, bro? say? What did you yourself say in our in the way our we give slang? What happens when a person rides in the back of the motorcycle? What do they call it? Right, right bitch. bitch. You think the Asians call but it? But that ain't that ain't just yeah, us though. White bitch. people say that too. Like you, do you, you think the bitch. Asian? No, they don't. Bro, you think the yeah, Asians call it that. See, you, know, you think the Asians call it yes, that? Yes, riding bitch. Yes, of course. Riding bitch. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's they a female spot. Get on that's the back universal. of my motorcycle, bro. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. talk. Everybody nah. know like when you have to ride a bike, bro, and you and it's a female. I've never heard it until you told me that. Bro, white people, bro. I heard. I seen. I heard that. Riding bitch. I heard that from a white from a white person state state that, bro. And from from shit when the dudes on a bike, but I, I didn't say white. No I bitch. said Asians. I'm saying yes, white Asians, nigga. Bro. Asians don't. Nobody know about riding too. bitch, bro. Asians riding on bitch. Nobody want. Nobody wants to ride a bitch. That's why when you ride, if if you have no choice to ride with somebody, if you shout out to Uber now, but if you got no choice, you gotta be you riding like this. You ain't holding that dude like this, nigga. You act you like his bitch. So we're gonna go ahead and give all that to all the races. It's not something that we we we. No, I'm, the, I'm not riding bitch. I'm not. Wait, wait, wait. What race of people coined that term, riding bitch? White. White. A white. Yes. So did they coin the term busting a bitch too? Busting a bitch? Yes. Why was we do I've a heard niggas say that. When you do a U-turn in traffic, they call oh, it what? Bust a bitch. That's black people. Oh, so we coined that one. We coined that one. Okay. That's cool. us. Cool. All That's right, basically so. a U-turn. I got to right, bust a bitch. Instead right. of saying a U-turn part. Yeah. And hurt them emotionally or physically sometimes. Sometimes both. And My they see is, nothing wrong not with it. To and one race, but we it's continue. not condemned in the community. A lot of times if a woman is beaten, people say she deserved to get beaten. She looked for that because she did X, Y, Z or... I don't want to... Uh, oh, I can't say that too much, but let's talk about it. You said Rihanna deserved to get whooped. She crazy. I said, I said, when the female put herself in that situation, uh -huh. and you, you, that, that's what you forced. Yeah, that's that's ended up happening. Keon, do you agree with that? Because I know you said something to the likes of Rihanna mm -hmm. being a crazy bitch as well. I, she got. First of all, for y'all don't know, just all you gotta do is Google Rihanna. She got her ass beat like she just left a Mike Tyson fight. Chris Brown whooped the shit out of her. Now. Now that we got that out the way, I don't agree a man should hit a woman. I don't. But in the in that. case of Rihanna, she did. Some did crazy she deserve shit. that? Yeah. Don't renege. <laughs> she deserved that shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel horrible as a human being saying that, but I gotta keep it a buck. She did. Keep it a buck. She guess she did. Can like, what's that say about you? If you go, what's it say about, about you? Can't can't about that, nigga. You're ah, assuming. Nigga. You're assuming she did something to warn him beating on. Hey, my ass. nigga. Hey, hey. I'm assuming what, that that was What? 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 He did. He did. He did. Bit Chris Brown bit her. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. what the hell did she could have done? Can I? Can I? Can I ask you something? Is there something that a woman could have said to make him do that to her, verbally? Uh, yes, there's something yes, they, that they're, she could have said what, what is, to make okay. him react that way. 
calling yeah, a man out his yes, name. Something she could have said to make him beat on her like that. There, there yeah. are, there are. Wow. Okay. I don't think that so, is, see, so, the so, difference between me and y'all, I don't think there's nothing a woman could say. <laughs> we riding in the car. That would make me just <laughs> we beat the. Oh, no, no, we riding. No, 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 no. Hey, no, hey, no, hey we riding. Hey, oh, we riding in the car. By the way, by the way, Jody, the baby's not yours. And by the way, you need to get tested. You not, bro? No. No. Sorry, I'll prop. Ah, I wake up like no. a, I'll swing like uh, I'll wake no. up. I would say this That's though. a problem, my nigga. When a when a That's female a problem, when a female is with an abusive dude, bro, she knew from some females know what they get into. He grabbed her one time, threw her down. He probably didn't hit her yet. Grew through her. She she knew that was one. That was what one. What could a woman say to you that make you beat her straight up? Go get tested, oh. and the baby's not nah, yours. Nah, nah, baby's nah. not yours. Go get tested. You're beating her up. Oh, she's getting her ass beat. All right. What about you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I ain't what honest. about you? About me? What would make you beat a girl up? That what could she? What could a girl say to make? <laughs> bro, what? That's bro, that's bro, all bro. I can think Stop of. Stop killing with, kill me with that. Miss me with that. All shit. right. She got herpes. So get she tested. Get, Same shit I said. Get tested. Yeah, she got herpes, bro. Or, and the baby, or, or, the baby or or AIDS, not yours. Or AIDS, one or the other. Yeah. But what she if the gives baby you, not she yours? Gives you an STD. Yeah. She tell me she you, the shit like that. Like she yeah. You're beating her up. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna lose my I'm gonna lose my <laughs> shit. Okay. I'm keeping right. a butt. Hey, I'm yeah. not going to cap. Ain't no cap here. I'm going to lose my All shit. Right, for sure, for sure. I'm lose well, my she's shit. annoying or whatever. It's incredibly sad because I look at these women and you can tell that they just don't even know what love is. They don't know how love is supposed to feel or how someone's supposed to act when, when, they're, when they love them. You could just see it in their eyes. Yeah. So last year, I was driving on the highway. For those of you who don't know, I live here in, in Washington, D.C. And I saw something I'd never, I'd never seen in my entire life. I was driving along the highway and... It was like kind of like a bridge portion, um, but there were like five lanes of, of traffic. And just driving home from the salon, and all of a sudden, I see cars just hitting brakes. Every car just kind of like, and they're hitting brakes so hard that they're like diverging. Like they're just going boom, 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 to left, right, some just veering off. And I'm like, oh my God, what, hap what happened? Because we were like on an, I can't remember if it was a bridge or an overpass kind of thing. And I was like, I wonder if like, like a, the bridge collapsed or something for people to just be hitting the brakes like that. I finally saw what was happening, this black guy was beating the crap out of this black woman. I watched him pull her out of the car and she kept running back to the car. She had a baby in her hand uh. and he, he took this woman and he was grabbing her in the flame. Story, story time. So where I used to stay at, um, I, I'm sitting outside of my steps just you know doing my shit and I see this dude. I always see this guy and this girl always walking up all the time. So I see this dude walk up, like walk in the corner, in the corner and sucking his girl, beating the shit out of her. Some more black dude or whatever, just sucking the shit out of her. She like you know taking it or whatever like backing up or whatever like that. Now, um, other another dude tried to run up on him or whatever. Told him like nigga you what? And then a dude, the dude or whatever ran. She finally get away. She come back. I let her and her baby come into my building, bro. I tell him like she, she I, came back and he was gone. He was he was gone. He was like bitch. I'll kill you next time I see you again. So I let her. We let we let I let her use my uh, my phone to call her peoples and shit. Right. I also give her some socks, and we put a blanket over her baby. So she tell us the whole get down or whatever, bro. A lot of these females go back to the same situation. She went right back to that dude. I seen yeah. her and that dude the next yeah. day yeah. together yeah. at the fucking store. Like nothing like never nothing happened. happened. Yeah. I seen another Toxic, dude yeah. when I was fucking like 16 years old. I, he beat the shit out this female. Stop in the middle yeah. of the car. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In a Jeep. Bitch. Boom, 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 boom. Beat her up. Yeah. Told her get the fuck out. She cried. No. Yeah. Hop back in the car. And I'm like, this is your opportunity to get the fuck away. Right, right. Some of these women put themselves in that situation. Y'all put yourself in that situation. When a man is abusive, when a man grab you in a certain way that you're not feeling, get the fuck away. But you tell that man, like hey. Like this or like this? Get your gay ass back. <laughs> um, you tell that certain man, you, you tell that certain man, it's okay. I'm fine. I, I'm willing to accept it. If you got your, if, if she killed your child in the tub, would you beat her up? Like huh? on accident, if she killed your child, how you gonna beat tub? somebody up by accident? No, because <laughs> Code said that she killed my child in the tub. He would beat you would beat the girl up. That's, if it's a mistake, I don't think that you would. How is that a mistake, on bro? Purpose? You you had to have go through post traumatic stress. What, what, so that's post traumatic stress right there, bro. Where you killed yeah. the child, you watching the child, and you pushing the baby down the water. <laughs> what the fuck? That ain't no accident. <laughs> no, you're talking about intentionally. Yes. Yeah, intentionally, then yeah. But bro, that's post on accident. Like, like huh. women right. go through post traumatic stress all the time, <laughs> right. and there's a lot of children who die because of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 
in that situation, knowing that, that she killed my baby, I probably will lose my shit. I'm not going to cap. I probably will lose my shit. I mean, so this man. That's my child. Well, she doesn't She doesn't know the, the circumstances of why he's beating her up. Maybe, you know, like you, the baby. Check the baby. Might not be yours and get mm -hmm. tested. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, nigga. Flinging her See, into I'm traffic. Yeah. So the that's why the mine? cars, I guess everyone she ran off, he would pull her back. Get the so fuck that's out! The cars you ain't that little nigga that say my kid, get out. Trying to avoid hitting her. And he beat her so bad on that highway What'd that she do? her top was off. What'd she do? Her breasts were exposed. Ooh. You could see her underwear because her pants were off or her skirt, Which whatever. So she was topless and it was just her underwear. And the baby is crying and somebody else is trying to calm this guy down and he's just losing it That's on a highway broad daylight. I'm calling 911 and the operator is saying, ma'am, everyone is calling us right now. We're sending units. Yes, we know exactly where it is. If this guy was bold enough to do that in broad daylight on a highway, what is he doing behind closed doors? Yeah. Researchers say in the U.S., blacks are the most likely to experience domestic violence, either male to female or female to male, followed by Hispanic people and then white people. And the numbers are still extremely high, say, despite yeah, white people, low yeah, reporting. I've seen Asian, some fights with white people. I've seen a white dude beat the just, shit out of a white She just put some shit out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Blacks are, are the one, beat each other more than Hispanics mm -hmm. and whites. It did. We beat each other the most out of every race on the planet. Now, this is where accountability come in. Look at the niggas y'all women are choosing to fuck. And look at these niggas. Look at the bitches y'all picking. Like, y'all not but, picking but, nerds. But they still exist, though. These are Listen, people. Yeah, right. But we not picking two nerds. Y'all pick, y'all pick, you're picking a violent, thuggy ass nigga. Why? Well, you're not picking those words. Ask niggas. yourself, why is she picking the violent, thuggy? Because she likes that. Yeah. That's what she's And then sometimes, to. too, it only takes one word. All, even if you got a fucking so, nerd and she say, we like you pussy are, so or is it, or hit so you. So are we because, the right? cause and the effect or is yeah. she the cause and the effect? Yeah, it's because men like toxicity and women like it as well. It's because like we, we like, like drama. Toxic. So, like so, so do then, we not so, like drama? Yeah, so I, then I men are the leader. So it's I mean, the a lot of people so like drama. Fault. It's the man's fault. Because up to the end of the day, nigga, if we gotta either go back to the old school day and bonk the bitch on the head and drag her to the cave. But I ain't like, fucking with nobody. I feel like I'm about to go to jail for it though. Like if I gotta, if I feel like the bitch wanna I'm just, do some I'm just outrageous you, shit, no way. What he just said, the bitch. See, if I feel like the bitch wanna, that's how we talk about our women. That's how we talk about our women. Because if the net and that and that type of female, I'll say this: that type of female is not a woman. That's a bitch. That's not a woman. Right. That's not a woman. That's not a little. That's not a somebody I that I take home. To, you want to take home to your mama or, you that, wanna, man. or queen? That's yeah, a yeah, bitch. But that problem but is you're you still fucking the same her. bitch. Yeah, Fuck. You shouldn't be with that's her. That's not to get the fuck up out of that shit. You yeah, shouldn't yeah. be. You know, fucking I understand. Her at all. I understand sliding in every now and then. You shouldn't be fucking the whole. You shouldn't be sliding either. You should get the fuck away from that. You shouldn't be. That's a looney tune. No, I don't know about that. You get the cheeks, but you get you get. Oh, so that's why. I mean, you like the crazy bitches. No, no, no. Hey, sex with a man. I know. You like the crazy bitches. No, I said. Being with them, I'm. You don't be with them, you smash them. They can't separate the two. The two cannot. They Looney be Tunes though. They see some, some of them. Deal with some of them want more. That's why, and that's why you have the problem that you have because you can't separate. Fuck sex that, and love bro. And love and yeah, I don't have yeah. that problem. I'm not. No, 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 no. Sure. I, I don't. Go Let's with get that. back I'm into this. Uh, the facts spoken in this video. Christians, unsurprisingly, are the least likely to experience intimate partner violence. And according to the United unsurprisingly, people. And the numbers are still extremely high despite low reporting. Asians, unsurprisingly, are the least likely to experience intimate partner violence. They don't report it. Yeah. They give that shit to themselves. You're making excuses. Asians are the least likely to beat on each other. They still beat on each other. I don't think it's just black people though who beat on each <laughs> other. Right. I think it's other races. You said the word in this way. motherfucker, bro. I, I said Asians. You I said, said nothing about niggas that beat each other. That's crazy. That's shit crazy. I just want to say that shit crazy. And according to a United Nations report, and they assembled a number of studies, domestic violence against women is most prevalent in Ethiopia, oh. and up to two thirds of women in certain communities in Nigeria's legal state say they are that. the victims of domestic violence. So this happens in so many different black communities throughout the world. I want to talk about the over-sexualization of black women in our community. I don't know the genesis of it. I don't know where it started, but it's extremely rampant in the black community. I'm not going to blame everything on hip hop because I feel like a lot of it predates hip hop. But I, what I do know I is that, that we was just talking about, see, we was just talking about this. The other day, on, on Friday, Friday was sad. On Friday. She, the first thing she said, I'm not gonna blame it all on hip hop. Cause I think it was more, she brought up hip hop cause she knows it all. A lot of it stems from hip hop. Me. I blame hip hop and social media and she's going to, I think she's going to miss the key. She, I don't even think she brings up social media, which is an L that's the biggest influencer of our, of our youth. So hip hop, social media, degeneracy. When we see some of our favorite performers on screen, on TV or on an award show performing very lasciviously, 
dressed lasciviously, performing lewdly, that That's it does have an impact on our young girls. It does have an, effect, uh, an impact on our women. I feel like it opens people's minds up and lets them know it's okay to do these things. It's okay to be free with your body. It's okay to, to be liberal and liberalized. There are some black women who think it is cute and they say it with pride to call themselves a B word yep. or to yeah. call themselves yeah. ho. Then you have women yeah. like Corinne Steffens saying this. Super and hair. now you have a problem. Because now you have a wife who you're married to, obviously, and then there's children, then there's a house, and there's 50-50, and now there's a divorce court, and now you're losing everything you built, all because you didn't marry the kind of woman you should have married in the first place, which is a woman that's going to knock your socks off every day when you come home from work. Mm. Marry the slut. Or you have Amber Rose. She's trying to go post. to jail, or she's trying to be in somebody uh, morgue. <laughs> What the freak did she, she said? Knock some, knock your her campaign, which not is like knock your sock ball. off, but she talking about <laughs> fuck that. You think she's talking about fighting? She's is she talking about fighting or she talking about fucking? Fifty knock and that is the horse court, and now you're losing everything you built, all because you didn't marry the kind of woman you should have married in the first place, which is a woman that's gonna knock your socks off every day when you come home from work. Mm -hmm. I stand corrected. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She's talking about coming home and having sex with her man. That's 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 a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay. That's a good thing. Mm. Marry the slut. Or you have Amber Rose proudly boasting of her campaign, which is this dubbed is the Slut Walk. This is stupid. For many women, still an, an incredibly hurtful thing. It's an embarrassing thing to be dubbed a slut. But for some women, they they say I'm going to take back my power and own it. I don't see power in that. What are you owning? I feel like a lot of the behaviors that we exhibit mm. happen because we just stopped being ashamed. Shame is a very. I remember back in the day in our in our era, when females was considered sluts, like especially when they did some shit on the side, mm -hmm. that slut that they was trying to keep that shit quiet. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now it's like it's out there. It's nothing wrong with being a slut. It's this. I'll, I'll be a slut. I'll be this. I'll be that. But back in the day, like like where it come where it came from. Nah, you know what I'm saying? You get this one nighter or you get this, you know, she met you, you met her around the corner or you met her at a store or, or a party and it was quiet tip. Now it's like, oh yeah, I don't have a problem being a slut. I'll be a slut for somebody. I don't give a fuck. Where did it come from that to like, nah, we got to keep this shit quiet. Don't say anything <clears> to nobody. Where did it come to now it's just normal? You know what I mean? Mm. She doesn't agree with it, but she's right now, at least what I'm feeling, she's coming across like, I'm the I was the girl in school that didn't do those things. I either knew girls that did that or I probably participated a little bit. But she's speaking from a from like a buyer's remorse perspective. And I think she's kind of like not taking the power back. She's dismissing why girls think the way that they think. Not that we're just not she's justifying this. I think she doesn't she, that's she's not, not thing. she's not gotten into it yet i don't know if she's gonna get into it but so but far she's, but that's she's talking about the service level of why that's, of, that's the feeling of that what we're doing that's she's the, not really talking about why we're doing it no no that right. I, but what i'm getting is she just don't like that lifestyle and she's commenting on on alternative because i don't like something just because you don't like it just because you don't participate in it don't mean that it's bad because some yes some girl kind of does based off what she said okay, so far so like the okay, sagging let me, let me give the no, bonnets the that's pjs the, that's in the, the airport the stuff. The that's the but, right, stuff. everything she said that, so far now, i'm talking about i just said this particular part about the black women because like give a scenario what about the women that have to strip to pay for college you, you don't have to them? strip to pay for college. You choose if you to strip get, to pay for college. With the women Go ahead and say that one more time. Look at the camera when you yeah. say that. Go ahead and say that one more time. Them? You choose to. That's a choice. If, if you're paying you for choose, college on your own. The reason why you're do, stripping to pay for college, which very, very little of them do, they're or just stripping to strip. What about work for They're hooters? doing it because it's high money, low reward. Low, the, low reward. But high money, fast. They're not doing it. We give everybody else that's there. But if that's the no, only way to pay for guy. college, oh, you're just not no. your guy. Did, I'm not, not that guy. Subscribe to that. Okay, no, that's what we're not subscribe to that. Because that's how you think, you think that me. it's you think you think there's honor. If some people got to do what they fucking have to do to pay for their work. Yes, especially if you're a woman, you sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So the only thing everybody do, everybody's circumstances aren't the same. That's why stripping, I'm not shitting on them with the, if they the have to thing. do it. That's I'm not shitting on them if that. That's not the only thing. I'm not going to shit on them. That's the easy thing. They're doing the easy thing. What else could they do? 
The easy thing is what they're doing. Stripping, slutting, gangbanging, drug dealing. Those things are easy. It's easy to deal it's, dope. Anybody can deal drugs, bruv. That's yeah, the easy I way out, bro. Say any, yeah, bro, I've seen some of the softest I'm saying, I under, deal dope and gangbang. I'm not, I'm I've not, seen some of the dirty schools that drugs. I went to school with who were gangbangers. I don't sell drugs. Because they didn't want to be a nerdy no more. They wanted I don't to be sell a drugs. Bro. But on, do bro. I understand people that sell drugs? I don't, I'm not it's just easy, on bro. it. Bro, it's the easy way out. It's, it is, but, but right, so tell me what's hard about stripping. Because That's the people, the because thing. for some people don't have that choice. They don't have that option. Yes, That's, they do have an option. Easy. Get a job. I don't think it's that easy. Get a job. If it was that easy, it they, just, more it, people would do it. No, I don't. I it's think you're, not that easy. That's the point. They're doing what's easy. Stripping is the easy. It's a service. They they think about getting a job and working a nine to five, and it. Uh, I could just shake some pussy. And get, get your three job, times school, as much. So, nah, I don't bro. shit on it as much. Nah, nah, I can make crazy. I can make thirty grand in one night. Not that much, <laughs> but I understand what you're going, what you're saying. Powerful and useful tools sometimes because it does curb behavior. Singer Monica has a song. Uh, it's an old song called "Like This and Like That." Um, I'm sure many of you who are fans of Monica remember that song. It's an upbeat song. And in the song, she features a rapper known as Mr. Malik. But there's a line in that song that just always just resonated with me. He said, only ones with no class, the ones with no shame. People who are classless and they don't care about being classless, they have no shame. I want to talk about how we have a tendency to glorify criminal behavior in our community. And even worse, ha. we make excuses for it. Facts. Oftentimes, links are made between um, rap music, hip hop music. Looking at you, Sad Award, glorifying Meek Mill, the mother freaking gangster rapper. We were just talking about him. Meek Mill's not a mother freaking hero. Or violent films or violent TV shows and um, the black community. And I've heard community activists, community leaders saying, oh, they're, the, the, the community and these young children are seeing what they or imitating what they see on TV. Is it a case of life imitating art? Or are these things happening in the communities and art is imitating life? We also have this no snitch culture that. F art imitating life. What I talked to you then. You talked about they don't just day. get a, a, hood, a square guy from the hood and say, mm -mm. we're going to make you a gangster rapper and give you charges, give you a rap sheet, and then we're going to make you rap. No, they get what's already out there. They're intimidate. The, the who they are is intimate the art is intimidating that that's because they get people in, they, they in, get the game they get somebody from the neighborhood imitating. they get somebody from the neighborhood that people could relate to they get the main people from the neighborhood that so it's not it's not the white shit, man making gangsters the white man it's not the white man the white making man, ratchets man, no we're not no, the white man no, is not making no, that the is degenerates correct. the white man that is, is the one correct. the no, white man correct. is the only one that's the fruit has already been grown from the tree he's yes. just telling it to you he he's just, just highlighting yeah. it on the stage yeah that's all and that's putting correct. it in front of everybody to see that's correct that's correct yeah that's a thousand percent correct oh you agree with the but but this is my thing though but so far where do where i don't i i guess I grew up differently see my parents raised me my grandparents raised me my family raised me the the TV, the media, it doesn't matter if they don't pay if you profit from it. Sure, the white man's profiting. So we know that you get, uh, bro, 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 bro. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, Jordans are made in Chinese sweatshops. Yes, and oh, Americans are profiting from it. <laughs> yes, right. Yes. <laughs> What's the answer? Stop buying Jordans. Mm -hmm. You gonna do what that? about those diamonds? What about those grills y'all get? The yeah. diamonds, the jewelry. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're slaved out of African yeah. mines. Yeah. What's that the, children what are is getting. the problem? Is is the profiting the problem or is the fact that they the exist? Consumers. Yeah. It's the slave work that they're doing. If you knew what it take to get those iPhones, if we showed you videos or bro. how to take the Foxconn? Yeah, if they really if y'all knew what it Come takes on, to bro. get the iPhone that's in your pocket right now, Come on, bro. you probably wouldn't buy one. Come on, bro. Let's let's be real here feeds into our criminality. I did a video on this last year. Um, and if you haven't watched that, please click above and, and watch that video because I remember by just way, being really upset by, by the, the fact that there was a guy who I profiled in the in the video um, who was like, I, you know, even if, if something were to happen to my friend, if he were hurt and I knew who did it, like, I'm not going to tell the police. And there are so many people who live by this street code that they, they just don't snitch. And I understand that there are individuals who are fearful of reporting certain things to the police because they feel like they could be in harm's way. I, I totally get the fear there. But 
when everybody remains silent, the whole community suffers. Correct. I go into CVS pharmacies and Walgreens pharmacies, Bro, and I just feel up. like Correct. an animal in a zoo. When I am going to buy deodorant yeah. and I see it locked up, I'm going to buy soap and I have to ring a bell or call somebody, yeah. which a lot of times they're, they're oh. so understaffed, you have to wait for somebody yeah. to come just to take um, a bar of soap out. because And they're doing this because the, the theft is so prevalent. The theft is so high in these areas, in certain areas. All right, so she's taking, she's talking about something that is si uh, separate from culture, right? Mm -hmm. We're talking about theft. That's areas. That could be that's, anybody. That's yeah. poverty. Living conditions. Yeah. That's, that's poverty and living conditions and stuff yeah. like that. So I'm not going to put that on black folk. Yeah. Everybody steals. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Anybody who's poor will steal. She, she's but I'm saying her points, but I'm I, saying. I, the spirit hey, of what she's saying, hey, I understand. Here, here's a true statement. And I ain't went here in a minute, but... I, <laughs> Hey, homie, Jody Joe, I am a consumer of cheap Chinese products in a department store. I'll go to a 99 cent store. Oh, no, 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 no. Not 99 cent store. Yeah, nigga. I am a consumer store, of, nigga. I said a department store. 99 cent store. A department store. Dollar Tree. A department store. It's a Dollar That's Tree. That's not a department store. No, nigga. Department store. DDs, nigga. Hey, okay. Diddy's. You, you shop at Diddy's. Diddy's discounts, nigga. I'll shop at Diddy's. They be having some nice stuff in there. But when it comes to like your your, if you want to go to a one stop shop, I want to go to one store to get everything that I need for today, from groceries to clothes. Where are you going? Grocery to clothes. Walmart. Walmart. Oh, okay. Target. Target. Target's pretty expensive though compared to Walmart. So where are you going? Walmart. It will be Tight. Walmart. Walmart cheaper. Wal you a Walmart nigga? You a Walmart nigga? I'm not. I don't shop at Walmart. Where are you going? Hey, nigga, I watch them. Hey, screw I'm you, target. nigga. I'm a Target. Target is no, expensive, I'm though. Target. That's going to break no, your pocket. No, 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 it's all the same shit. I will spend pay more at Target than at Walmart. I will spend two more cents on the dollar to get the shopping Try experience three. of Target, my Try dude. My because the, they're the same Four. product. I'll go, no, it's not. I'll go to no, Sam's Club, nigga. So no, it's not. You guys saying that Walmart is that much more expensive than Target or Target? It is expensive. But no, you're capping on that. It's expensive. No. But no, it's, it's not. not it's the more. same product. No, it's not. If no, it's not. Crazy, bro. What are we talking? So, okay. A box of cereal at Target versus Walmart. Like, um, I can get, like, like, Toothpaste, for example. Toothpaste is like nine, ten, about fluoride is like 12 bucks, eight, nine bucks. No, it's for fluoride. not. Yes, it's it is. The same and then at, tar at, at Walmart, you're getting two it's of them. It's the same you're thing. You're getting two you're of them at Walmart. Walmart. And at Target, you and, get and that's one not, thing of toothpaste. That's not even like why. Bucks. It's not even the savings. How much of, is eggs? The same that anywhere else. Oh. At Ralph's, the same at Target. No, nah, same you're, shit. You're paying like a quarter, 50 cents. I feel like you're paying more. You feel like it because it's a nice experience. You you're feel pay, like you're, it's you're, expensive. You're paying you walk in there and the carts don't wobble. You walk in there and the white floors, they're polished. You walk in there and things are structured. There isn't a gang of niggas and Mexicans falling over each other, Man, coughing on you each ain't other, been to my running target. into each other. Compton got a target I'll too. say this. Yeah, I, Compton has a target, but it's not worse than Compton's Walmart. <laughs> what I'm saying is, niggas at Walmart, the, <laughs> hey, the black people and the Mexicans make Walmart a hassle to shop at. I avoid Walmart simply because of the type of customers that go there. I, understand I avoid that. Hey, you're, you're preaching to a right. nigga. I no, shop you a Walmart, Walmart nigga. Hey, nigga, I, I shop at Torrance, nigga. Nah. I like my, hey, bro. Nah. I like you shopping. You a Walmart, nigga. I like shopping without okay. clothes being on the floor. Nah. Yeah, you like, no, no, you like I shopping. I go to the white Torrance. I go to nah. Walmart in Torrance. It don't matter. Nigga. It it's don't matter nice what Walmart you go yeah, to. Yeah, no, no, yes, ratchet. the fuck it does. You know, yes, no, the freak it does. And they're, and they're not they're ratchet at Target. No, they're not ratchet at Target. No, no, you know, no, which no, Target no, you know the fuck is not. I went to Burbank no, Walmart. Not. Because you know what? No when I walk in, it's ratchet at Target. It's ratchet at Target, too. No, freak that. Thank you for not for dropping that whole hundred on us. Not a done member of the $500 club. Yes, sir. Hey, and and now they said it's Target for the win. It's nicer. There's more ladies there. It's the same bullshit that you have at Walmart, too. It's People be I feel fucking, like you know, Target has made their Target. business model for families to come and people uh, up up. No, you're right about that. And then Walmart the is for the niggas and the Mexicans. Just, just, just poverty. Yeah, white people be Walmart, at Walmart too. Yes, hillbilly white trash too. But I'm talking about <laughs> uh, LA. We're in I'm LA. Like, I get it. But nigga, you, know you talking like nigga, the Target comp is still bad. Nigga, that shit's still bad. They still Mexicans still throw shit on the floor. Shit, Do you know why? Fairfax still bad too. Yes, because it's in Compton. Yeah, I know that. That's it's what not I'm because saying. of Target. So Walmart not bad in Target. That's what I'm hey, telling you. Best Buy in Compton's bad. Anything in Compton is bad. Yeah. All right. 
<laughs> I get it, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shout out to the white areas, though. Nigga, hey, this shit clean. Just, no, the fruit be bro, fresh. Nigga, I get my nah, filet nah, mignon got oh, marbling in it. I don't when do I it. buy filet mignon, so shit. I understand it. It's the same guy. And gas shit. is cheaper for some weird reason. I do not shop at Walmart because of the way the stores are set up. It's cheap. You go in there, it smells dirty. The air is thick and it's overcrowded. You run into someone every freaking three steps. Excuse, excuse me. It's way too many people in there. The lines yeah. are long because they don't have enough cap. It's 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 like the county building. Mm, Walmart is far, like the county okay. building, bro. That's too far, but okay. You call it too far. What's the county building of department stores? See, I hate don't. Oh. <laughs> Let's continue. I hate you. Let's continue, bro. <laughs> it's Walmart, my dude. It's mother freaking Walmart. Let's get back to the sister right here speaking the facts. Is that they cannot afford to not lock everything yeah, up really and it inconveniences pretty, everybody, yeah. even people who aren't there to Fuck. steal. I've That's been inside up, of these pharmacies and watched <laughs> black men. You want to cut up her skin and put it on him, no? <laughs> think it's a skin. He want to skin appreciate her, bro. That you like her skin, but that's all makeup, my brother. That's what concealer and foundation does. You didn't even let me talk about it. He sound like one of the sightings of the No, I like her. I like that. Hey, bro, I'm just noticing shit. He sound like one of the sightings of the lamb, motherfucker. She got some pretty skin. That's not her skin, is what I'm saying. I want to eat it. <laughs> we don't know what her skin looks like. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's makeup. Hey, it's how I'm presented is what I like to what I like. Okay, cool. Nothing wrong with saying I like what I see too. And come in with their knapsacks, their backpacks. I like her little and walk accent. Through the aisles and just go shopping. Them hoop earrings. And, and then shit. they walk out and That's fire. I, I could see the other um, patrons who were there online oh, yeah, saying that, you're that not going to stop them. And the, and the poor associates are like, we can't. We're not allowed to do anything. So I'm standing in line like the fool to pay. <laughs> the fool. While they just went shopping and they walked right out. Why the hell am I standing in line to pay no, I think she bite if fingers. it's a free-for-all? Now, luckily, I, you know, I might say that to you, but I'm not going to go and steal. But somebody else is going to be watching that and say, well, if, if things are free here, why, why am I standing in line? I might as well go and do what I have to do. And then you have these community activists and these politicians who will come out and say, no, they're stealing for survival. Oh, that doesn't always happen. It's not always about survival. I can certainly understand. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not do. so locked in my rigidity that I couldn't understand if someone stole food. Stealing is wrong, yeah. 100%. Yes. But if I saw a man who looked destitute stealing water, I might have a little bit more sympathy. No, I might have a lot more sympathy because he's stealing water. Water is a necessary uh, thing. We need water to live. But that doesn't always happen. There were these two women who were on the screen who the news reported as oh, black, uh, stealing huh? out of Ulta Beauty, stealing cosmetics. I've seen people stealing yep. these NYX um, products and yep. ELF products. How is that a necessity? It's not. Or this guy who was stealing Bud Light. Ah, damn. <laughs> oh, look at his face. Look at he looked like Tyrese. He looked like Tyrese, bro. Look at this <laughs> nigga is like. I uh, know what time this nigga's is like, the lady. <laughs> nigga, go, to, go, go to the other game. This nigga's like. <laughs> nigga don't see me. That's crazy. That's funny, what bro. What kind of shit is that, look bro? That. Look at that lip. That's funny. That fucking Call lip, it 4K. Bro. Right. You just your how is baby that a necessity? Boy. And that's what I'm talking about when I say like how we Birdman. excuse bad behavior. There's seldom any condemnation, or if it is, it's very low and it's very quick. Oh, I know some people steal, but you know the vast majority. Okay, but we're not talking about the vast majority. We know the vast majority of people are are law-abiding citizens. Let's talk about the people who are problematic and who are making it hard for everybody else. Because you know what happens when that person keeps stealing, that, 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 that small percentage of people keeps stealing? We lose these Walgreens and these CVSs yep. and the Walmarts. And then people like Walmart me and you, nowhere, man. who are law hey, That's true, Walmart. nigga. They shut down that Whole Foods real quick. I remember Whole Foods was building Gardena. Uh -huh. That shit was up for like three months. Gone. That shit was gone, nigga. That shit was what gone. What do you talk about? Walmart ain't going nowhere. We have one in our neighborhood. It's gone. They had a, they they closed. They they didn't they didn't take that shit because. Wait, didn't uh, you work there? Weren't you a manager? <laughs> yeah, I Fuck. was. I was. Is hey, that the so one we're talking about? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Manager. This ain't got shit to do with me though. Walmart, you worked at. Do you know why it's gone? Yeah. Different I don't know what's going. Not the it's same gone person. Because it was a lot of fucking shrinkage there. The people that was working at the shrinkage were still in there. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, oh well, shrinkage. I'm shrinkage. sorry. I'm not familiar with that term. Shrinkage. What does that mean? Shrinkage is meaning the product. The product that was being product was being missing. Product was being taken. So are we um, talking? That's shoplifting. So, so, that's theft. So, theft. Yeah, it was stolen. A lot of shit was stolen, but it wasn't for customers. A lot of it wasn't just customers. It was uh, you stole shit too. 
You got fired on your day off? <laughs> is that why you on Jody's there. corner? This nigga got fired on his day off. Are you <laughs> saying that the employees stole so much product uh, that they put it out of business? So what happened was you small percentage nigga. Bro, fucking lost revention that they had was still in big ass TVs and shit and had a fucking bro, movie bro, truck. Bro. Was taking shit, bro. bro so okay. So you're gonna blame Walmart, that three level, three story Walmart for four, shutting down. Four. So you telling me you and your homie Chris got fired on y'all day off, which is why you're at Jody's Corner, and y'all and y'all niggas was stealing. First of all, I didn't thieves. get fired at, at Walmart. Well, did you get fired on your day well, off? Well, I'm saying no. it doesn't change the fact. What the fuck? You just said Walmart ain't going nowhere. The one of the biggest Walmarts in LA went somewhere. It's and gone. They, and it's on, and they got the next they got the other one too. They also got one on the hundred and ninetieth where they they also came by. Is that in the is that in our neighborhood? Ever. No. That's far as freak. They were gonna get rid of that shit anyway, bro. It yeah. was it was they were supposed uh, to get it was supposed to be gone in a long because time. Because of the shoplifting. They stole yeah, okay. that Walmart out of business. <laughs> he said they stole they that stole Walmart out of business. Out of business. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened to it. <laughs> Chicago lost is gonna lose like five of them. New York's losing some. Oh yeah, when, yeah it, it, it costs more to keep replenishing y'all niggas and y'all money. Y'all yes. not even spending money in there. Y'all stealing shit and not putting money back into the store. So, of course, they're going to shut down. Have to go and travel farther out to get what we need to get. And it might be okay for us because we have cars. But what about elderly people or younger people who, who, who can't afford that stuff, who don't have transportation? Don't give a and damn. they have to take public transportation just to go <laughs> to you. the pharmacy <laughs> for medication. Hey, I'm we don't getting think mine about though. those Fuck things. You don't even trip. How we're affecting what? us. Don't even trip, bro. How we're Fuck hurting you. us. You're getting what? Let's talk I'm a little bit that. about the hip-hop I'm influences. House like you got. Now, okay. I'm a hip-hop head. Biggie. I'm a rap head. I listen to... I'll send you a picture of my pool. Got you. We don't think about those things. Bathroom too, right? How we're and affecting yep. us. How we're hurting us. My nice us. gold Let's bathroom. Let's talk about the trunk. golden shower. I thought the bathroom was in the trunk. Mm. Oh, You'll okay. never use my golden shower. Got you. My golden shower is nice. Got you. All right, nigga. All right. Mm-hmm. She looked cockeyed as shit. <laughs> I know my TV. A little bit about from. the hip-hop influences. Now, I am a hip-hop head. Biggie. I'm a rap head. I listen to all types of music. And I don't oh, believe yeah. that rap and hip hop are inherently bad. I think the problem the comes, shit, that comes yes. into place is when you are only exposed to one thing and you don't have positive influences to counter those things. So if you are in a toxic environment, you are in a negative environment constantly, and then you're being fed a diet of bad rap lyrics, misogynistic lyrics, violent lyrics, then what's going to happen? You become a product not only of your environment, but of what you have fed yourself. You've, you've sated yourself on those things. But if you're listening to rap and you have positive influences around you, a positive environment, parents who were there, you understand very clearly that this is entertainment. Yeah. And I once I turn this radio off, that's it. Yeah. I'm back to doing what I, I need to that. do. But if that is all you're exposed to, but, but, but I'm listening to her. That, and I can like just see her sense. in the background with her whole girl twerking sense. and shit, I, bro. I, I, learned I know she be doing that shit, busting that shit open. <laughs> hey, I didn't want to say knees. that. I didn't want to say that. Drake, I, I just see that shit, bro. I'm just like, I'm listening to shit. I'm just like, bro. You hey, don't know you be doing that shit with hell yeah. You know she be doing that shit with her girls at the club. But wait, 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 wait. I was calling bullshit on the girl ten minutes, like almost an hour ago. Like, like nigga, I'm like, like bro, come on, like, like what she, so she said about, so she said I do hip hop, but then she like, you gotta separate this. I'm like, but I can see you over there busting this shit open. You probably put your hands on your knee, you know. But, 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 you come on, man, be mature, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, oh, you got or, or, it. Or, nigga, dun, like, dun, look, listen. Dun, dun. But I agree with that, Jody, because my grandpa told you look good when you back that ass. I get it. That's not ideal. But I'm Jody. This is why I'm the alien in this fucking world. Because that's how that was taught to me. This is entertainment. These are not your leaders. You don't look up to niggas like that. But it's nobody. Even though that's the case, isn't she kind of like making an excuse without making it? She's basically saying she made I'm an a hip hop. Twenty player. minutes ago, nigga, I told you she made an excuse. What was the excuse that she made? Nigga, way back then. You don't remember? Remember what she said? Going back. What did she say? Oh, I don't remember. All right, for bullshit. sure. So <laughs> what, this is the first time where I'm bullshit. challenging what she's saying because she's saying I'm a hip hop head and I can listen to it and, and you could separate it. But she you're admitting, she said, you have to have positivity to what, counteract the negativity. No, so so no she's, one's a zoo and one is not. I get what she's saying. You don't, I, I, I get what she's saying too, but it's wrong still. What do you mean by wrong? She's admitting it's wrong. 
but she's trying to say it's not wrong because she has enough positive in her life to counteract the evil. So she, she's she separating to. it. She's saying she she's de- separating herself. She's from saying that. she when she listens to hip hop, mm-hmm. she's getting negativity, but she has enough positivity in her life. It, to counter it counteracts it. the to negativity counter yep. to keep her positive. That's bullshit. It's Girl, still you look wrong. good when you back that ass. Yeah, you're a fine motherfucker mother, when, when you, you back, back that ass. Call me big, call me big daddy. That means she can listen to toxic yeah, shit, bro. and it doesn't affect her overall mind Wait, state in the world because aren't you the same she way? has other things. Aren't you the same way? Here's the difference that I'm saying. She's trying. I'm acknowledging that. Oh, you're saying she's back. not acknowledging that. No, she's she's she just guised over that. Oh, okay. You're, She's saying because she's she's trying to well, say. I feel no, like no, she was no. full of shit from the she started. She's not video. full of shit though. You oh, just wanted to be she's full of shit because some, you're some points, but, but you have an though, effed like, up yeah. mentality and you want her to be full of shit. You want her. I only to be heard the nigga. She said no. one thing that I agree. This last no, no, no. five bars, that's the only thing I heard that she was. It's a lot of shit I agree with her with though. It's a lot of stuff that was she. Yeah, fine. But you guys want her to be full of shit because you don't want to believe. On this though, I do. But a lot of stuff I agree with her with though. I definitely agree with her about. About a lot of stuff she was saying, especially when she was talking about how like uh, nigga, you are a, you. All you do is make excuses. I'm not making no you excuses. You are a black people uh, problem making excusing piece of <laughs> shit. That's what you are. <laughs> you are a, uh, oh, also this. You just said Walmart went out of business because the employees burned it down with with stealing. They Shut stealing, the though. freak up! You don't know shit. You make excuses for everything. I'm not bro. making excuses. You are an excuse of making. I'm like, not making excuses. For sure, for sure. What I'm saying is, she said I'm a hip hop head. Yeah, I, I remember That's that. Biggie on the wall. Yeah, Biggie Big ain't good. Bing. Biggie's not good. But At you got all. Biggie on the wall. I mean, we understand you like hip hop because to like hip hop, Rest bro, in peace, Biggie. she just used hip hop as a, as she doesn't want to demonize it because she's a hip hop head. I believe her. I believe she does to Nelly, Biggie, Tupac, all that shit. And she can do it. And then- but she doesn't want to call it bad because she's saying, I have enough positivity in my life to count. No, 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 no. It's bad. She doesn't want to. She's in denial. Even she's in denial. She made some shit up to say, well, there's enough positivity to, and and she, never, she didn't even want to call it negative. She didn't want to call the hip hop negative, but she positioned it as the negative. She said, if you have a lot of positivity in your mind and all that, you know that this isn't life. This is just entertainment. But that's what but it you're, is. When you're going to the entertainment, you're delving in negativity. Yeah, oh, see, yeah, I agree she with knows that. she's delving in the negativity. But she's a eighty. She's a twenty percent negativity when she listens to hip hop. But she has eighty percent of the positivity. Her her knowledge, her upbringing that keeps her sane. There's a lot of people that don't have that. I call that bullshit. I call that bullshit. Call it what it is. <laughs> what she won't do is what I have. To, I am dying on this hill. Especially in 2024. Hip hop is bad, bro. Yes, it's not yes. good. Yes, she's but she knew way hip hop. I get it. Yes. It's not, bro. Yeah. If listen to what she says again for you guys to catch it. Some of you guys probably didn't understand. To the net, literally bad. Take public transportation just to go to the pharmacy for medication. We don't think about those things. How we are affecting us. How we're hurting us. Let's talk a little bit about the hip hop influences. Now, I am a hip hop head. Biggie. I'm a rap head. I listen to all types of music. And I don't believe that rap and hip hop are inherently bad. I think Lie. the problem com- that comes into place is when you are only exposed to one thing and you don't have pause in hip hop. I'm a rap head. One more thing I want you guys to pay attention to. She's been well spoken throughout this entire way. When she starts to say, I don't think hip hop is bad, she stutters and messes up her words because she's even lying to herself. This is the body language she's given off. She's lying to herself. And I listen to all types of music and I don't believe that rap and hip hop are inherently bad. I think the problem come that comes into place is you when yeah, yeah. you are only exposed to one thing and you don't have positive influences to counter those things. So if you when you're exposed to one thing, hip hop, mm-hmm. and you don't have positive influences to counter those things, what are those things? What are they, Keon? Are they positive wait, or negative? Wait. Why do you need positive to counteract those oh, things? Yeah, okay, I can now see what your point. Okay, now she's, okay. She's she's calling hip hop negative without saying it. Okay, okay, I okay, I see that because my grandfather hated hip hop, so I would listen to. So I can see it. So when you say the counter, I can see that because yeah. that because my grandfather would say that shit's evil, that shit's bad. But that was my point of reference to know if this is good or this is bad. But the problem come, that comes into place is when you are only exposed to one thing 
and you don't have positive influences to counter those things. So if you are in a toxic environment, you are in a negative environment constantly, and then you're being fed a diet of bad rap lyrics, misogynistic lyrics, violent lyrics, then what's going to happen? You become a product not only of your environment, but of what you have fed yourself. You've, you've sated yourself on those things. But if you're listening to rap and you have positive influences around you, a positive environment, parents who were there, you understand very clearly that this is entertainment. And once I turn this radio off, that's it. I'm back to doing what I need to do. But if that is all you're exposed to, then that's going to become a permanent part of your psyche. Last year, again, and I do all types of videos on my channel, I encourage you all to go through my playlist, but I did a video of uh, Sexy Red, this rapper who visited a school here in the United States to give out bundles of hair and um, uh, haircuts to some students. And I talked about how she was welcomed by the students and the faculty at this school. And I questioned why she was even invited to speak to these children, considering the types of lyrics that she puts, uh, the type of music that she puts out and the lyrics that she puts out. And I'm not gonna rehash that video. Please go and watch it so you can see for your- My coochie pink, my my booty booty hole brown. The song is called Pound Town. But that's what the kids listen to. But I said in that video that I don't think Sexy Red, and I, 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 I'm pretty sure that she would have never been invited to come and speak or even be in the presence of a lot of students had it been a private school. It That's was a public level. school, and it was a Can't public school that. that had a huge population of black kids. But this just goes to show you that we don't even value our children to want to expose them to the right things. We don't care about our kids. I was in a beauty supply store in Southeast DC. As I'm looking around, I'm Everybody seeing little girls, you know, with shopping with their mothers or their grandmothers, picking up barrettes and bubbles and all these hair ties and edge control, all these different things, you know. And I'm walking through the aisles and I'm listening to the music and the music that's playing is Yo, absolutely man. profane. Perfect. Talking yeah. about pee popping. Y'all know what I mean when I say pee popping and F words flying. Yep. This was a Sunday, no less. I was in a freaking family restaurant. They had that shit playing, bro. I'm like, bro, I'm just What praying. community were you in? It was in uh, middle class. Oh, what bro, are, don't get it twisted. White people are freaking becoming ratchet as well. Yeah. So, I mean, the, 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 it's it's not just about coming race. already there. It's about the Western Americans. We are yeah, becoming you, degenerates, all races. The the Asian girls, they're becoming like black girls, bro. Yeah. Yeah, they're Shape not. The they're not. Dun, 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 dun. No. That shit gone. That shit over with. That shit gone. Out here, it's over with. Yeah. You got to go to Japan to get that shit. You got to go to Thailand. Black man? No, 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 no. Uh, that's Devil. Why the, that's why the passport bro is getting the password. Passport bro. It's not because of the money. Bros. It's because they want women with traditional mindsets. Because even the Asian women in America ain't really Asian. No, Them dudes no going more. out there to smash also. Not more than just. They're not just smashing. They're also marrying the women. They're finding wives, bro. Really? Yeah. Passport yeah. things. Are and before the passport bros was a big thing, white people been doing it for 50 years. Mm hmm. White people, when they retire and they go to Costa Rica, mm -hmm. Thailand, and Japan, Hawaii, you know, any, any, they're leaving America to get a wife, a Filipino wife, some kids with a wholesome life. White people been doing this shit before black people. Black people are just now getting on to it. Because we can afford to do it now. Yeah. That's why, because we have the money to do it. Niggas can yeah. money talks. So this ain't no mother freaking and that uh, too, military. black thing. This is a very much a, if you want a mate who is a wife, if you no more. Or traditional. If you want a traditional, if you want a woman. traditional wife. Yeah. If you want a, a Keisha as a wife who's gonna freaking argue with you five times a month and you know what I'm saying, have y'all know. But if you don't want that, you know what I'm saying? There's options out here. I see. All right. Elderly people are there. And this store has this music going now. This was in an inner city area, this store. And so I'm like looking around, seeing if anybody else is as perturbed as I am uh, by the fact no. that th they're playing this music so loudly over the speakers. So I just said, you know what? I, I have to say something. I go up to the counter and there's an Asian man sitting there. And I said, sir, are you are you the manager here? He says, oh, I'm one of the owners. So I said, okay, sir, I, I have a question. Is this a family store? He said, yeah, this is a family store. He said, all kinds of families come here. I said, yeah, I see that. I see some elderly people and some children. He said, yeah, everybody comes here. I said, sir, do you think it's appropriate to have profanity coming across your, your speakers on a Sunday, no less, 
while children are walking through the aisles and parents, grandparents, you hear shopping, you think that's appropriate? And he said, well, I don't have XM radio or Sirius radio. We just play a playlist from YouTube. I said, sir, well, it's all fine and good that you're playing this from YouTube, but why are you why are you playing music that has profanity in it? Surely they have playlists on YouTube that are clean cut. Whether you're playing some nice R&B music or you're playing country music or you're playing classical music or 80s or 90s music, you have playlists that you can put in and put no profanity and they will come up. And he was just like, yeah, but you know, this is the playlist. I said, so you're okay then? Yes. Because you keep telling me it's the playlist. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He, the real shit he wanted to probably say or he did say is, this is the type of music that y'all listen to. So I, I playing mm -hmm. with, I know that you, yeah, that, you this is what the customers like. If mm -hmm. you don't want to shop here, like, don't lie, yeah. like, like, don't lie and you, say this shit though. Like, like I'm pretty sure when she heard um, it, she was like, they excuse said she me, Miss Chikabu. David says she's capping. They don't believe her. Yeah. Mrs. Chikabu, Chikabu. You, don't you, can, you can, you um, can, um, you can leave when you can open your own department store right next to me. You can play whatever music that you want to play at your department store. Right, right. I think but if this is my department store and if my customers like it, even though it is degenerate, even though we're not saving society, but hey, nobody here is mother goddamn Teresa. So let me play whatever music I need to play to make my goddamn money. This is the type of music that I know for a fact that you gravitate to. This is the type of music that I know that you guys love. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, I want to bring more customers in. I want my customers to feel comfortable she sound off. by listening to the music that they, that they have. I don't want to play other music playing jazz and they be like, oh, I'm going to the store she's down the street. Off, see, you, she's coming off as a prune. We don't believe her. A lot of people are negative in my comment section. They they they're, they, they wasn't like that earlier. They in the don't video, believe though. what she's saying. They was they, like so, the show was so, defending her in the beginning. No no no. A lot of people. Don't research it. I'm glad it's you not. You guys didn't. And this is what it's like when you put the mirror up. We don't want to hear or see that shit. This is what it is. That's what she's doing. And putting this mirror up makes you deviate to trick yourselves into finding things that you don't like. She can't be telling the truth. She didn't do that. No way she went to that restaurant or that department store and talked and mentioned an Asian owner, you know, because she did show likeness to Asians in this video. But if I'm willing to show likeness to Asians in the video, why would I say that the owner was Asian? She would have said the owner was black. But let me go and say that the owner was Asian, which would unravel my narrative if I had one. And you don't think that she said that this is what it is, bro. We ain't I'm never saying, gonna get better, bro. I'm saying even if we she did, don't want. <sighs> okay, fine. I just said <sighs> even if the bitch went up to the <sighs> Asian man and said it, even if she did say it, I would have pulled a Logan and said, "Fuck off, get the fuck out of my face, and I mean, keep selling." You don't want to do that to a customer because no, you do that. She can go. No, Bye. that's an Asian guy. You're not talking you to a black that, woman yeah, like that. Your she, bro. For all he knows, she gonna slap you. Or tell her friends. They got their own language. We don't understand. That bitch can fuck off. Nah, bro. You lose business nah, like bro. that. You don't want to do that. Fuck Ooh. off. Do, 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 do. We're willing to believe she's a liar rather than actually. Far when it comes down to that. Far when it comes down to that, bro. A lot of stuff she was saying was real. And I was saying the owner told her to fuck off. I felt like a lot of stuff she was saying is real. But far as like, far as like listening to the music and not letting it get to her. Far as like her going into the yeah, store yeah. saying that, that shit. I think that's a lie. Now that's now everything else. Far as like. About how how uh, how black men are are dressed. We're not done. Let's finish watching it there before you make. You're a, okay, uh, just playing this stuff. Final judgment on her. To totally disregarding the fact that there are children mm. walking around here. So this is not a family store, and I kept thinking about it. And you you know why he felt comfortable playing that kind of music, because it was an inner city store that was pre predominantly patronized by black people. Oh, mm -hmm. here you go, Eman. It wouldn't have been up in Northwest somewhere. Yeah, it wouldn't have been up in Bethesda, Chevy Chase, if they had a beauty supply store like that up in there. He wouldn't have done that. And the fact that we as black people, the fact that I was the only one to go up to the counter and say, sir, and I wasn't nasty with him or anything. I just was like That's in total lie. disbelief. The fact that one of the parents- You don't think she was, you think she was nasty? Look at this energy now. She's not, she, look how calm That's she not was. nasty. Look energy. how calm she was in the first 10 minutes. Now she's getting, now I feel that energy. So There's yeah, I, feel, I know, with black, with, hey, bro, I know black women. Then I, I was raised by one. She said more than just, excuse me, sir. I'm, I don't think that's the appropriate. She had a little bit more words than that. She's not, not, not saying that now. I'm not She's saying. She's not having the energy I'm not, you just had I'm now. Not, I'm not. Her video is showing more her, anger than you her, just did. No, I know bullshit when I see it. You don't got to believe me. Who cares? You know what I think? I think that you are what? a classic make excuses. I haven't made an excuse nigga. this whole video. And you have. You do not 
want to have accountability for black folks. Okay, you believe, I you believe think that, that way? You are jealous. Je I think that you also. How can I be jealous of something that I don't want? You can't be jealous of something that you, I have no desire. I for. believe that you wish. To oh, be you believe. Perceived. Oh, yes. as long as you believe. I that. believe it. Yes. As long as I you believe that, that. you Let's wish that to be perceived you as a man that. of integrity, honor. I believe that you wish people think that you're a. Oh no. Upstanding person. No, don't want that. Don't care about that. I'm a porcupine. I'm not a fucking teddy bear. I don't need everybody to love me, praise me, kiss me on my motherfucking ass. Blurf don't work like that. I think that you are an excuse maker. And there's a lot of them Haven't like made you. one yet, but there's okay. a lot of black folks like you. A lot of, I have friends that are that. Me and Sad are twins. I've had a lot of discussions with some of my friends about this shit. And the truth is, you're blinded. And so are you. My third eye is open out here, bro. King Tut out this motherfucker. King Tut, my nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's go back to the sister. Let's go to this beautiful black sister as she speaks that. She story. has nice skin. Yo, Parents who was holding their daughter's Perfect. hands didn't walk up to that man and say, hey, you should turn this off. My kid is in here. Like, what are you doing? We show people how to treat us when we say nothing, when foolishness happens. So as I'm Facts. getting ready to walk away, because I'm like, you know what, I, I this if this guy is going to keep playing this stuff, I'm out of here and I'm not buying anything. He 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 waved to me and he says, I'm I'm changing it, and he changed it. To his credit, he he changed it. But it bothered me that I even had to. We still think she made this up. Did she leave or did he change it or did she shop there? She I heard was three leaving. She was. She said, as I was on my way out uh -huh. to leave, he waved me and he said, okay, okay, and changed it. Is bad. Or did the track end? Is bad. Or did too. the song end and it's then it was the next song after the playlist? Oh, <laughs> like, my bro, God. I guess on this part I am making an excuse. I think she's lying here. Bro. To say anything like he didn't have the the foresight to know that hey, even if something slipped on the on the air, slipped on the on the speaker and it had profanity, he immediately scrambled and turned like, it you off. You guys have to understand. If she has a narrative to look ho. Oh, she wouldn't have said that the guy said, come over here and change it. She would have said, I said, I'm, that not, makes her a great story I'm not supporting this place. And I left. I'm that makes doing a great my storyteller. If you left, no. how you know he changed? Okay. No, it, it makes her look better. If she says, That's I believer. just left. She didn't have to add. She would not have added the part where the Asian guy said, okay. So you I'll believe change. her. Yes, I believe her. Okay, a liar doesn't. I'm glad you see, believe her. So I, the best lies are I'm built better off at of this than you. The bitches. best lies are you built guys off are not even getting the contents clues. If if to lie to, to expose her as a liar, you gotta think like a liar. If you're gonna think like a liar. You wouldn't say some of the things that she's saying. Black if you have a narrative to look a certain way, you're you're gonna leave certain things out. You're not gonna con contradict yourself. So you don't think she lied about the music part either by her saying that she keeps things balanced between the music that she listens to and she doesn't do that because you was she, even no, just joking she, around when i talked no, about she, she like didn't she lie because she didn't say that she thinks that hip-hop is good she was being disingenuous and i believe she's lying to herself so she's in denial Correct. within herself yes so she's a liar within herself that's yeah yeah, the yeah, yeah yes is she a liar that's not bro. the same thing bro what do you mean that's not the uh, same thing you know what uh, mr mr religious what do you mean is that don't act oh, like we, you don't know what a liar is we know what a all liar right, is. all right we so, don't talk about, no, 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 don't talk no, no, about no. that being, yeah. being we don't talk about bruno lying no, to yourself no. uh being in de this in in denial is not a lie because you believe something that's not true to be true that means you believe it to be. You're an habitual liar. That's hey, somebody that believes their own lies. There was a episode. Of, there was an episode of Seinfeld said, "I do not believe beer is bad for you." Am I a liar? No, you believe that shit. You believe that shit. Okay. But I'm a, so I'm an objective right. third party viewer. But, but we know. But that. we live in facts. But though. We know beer is. But we live in facts, though. Just because you and don't it, believe yeah, in it, right, you can right, believe in something. Right. That's on you. So, so if There's I don't believe Seinfeld. beer's bad for you, and then I tell my girl, beer ain't bad for you, girl. Did she just lie to her friend? You said you. You told your girl that beer not bad for you. <sighs> I'll slow it down. I'll slow it down. I'll slow way down. If I don't believe that smoking black and miles can kill you, mm -hmm. or will kill you, or are bad for you, mm -hmm. And email, I'm like, hey, and I believe this. I mm -hmm. truly believe it. And there, and we talk about, and Keon says, email, you want to smoke a black mile? Yeah, what's it? Why says, email says, nah, bro, I don't smoke that. And here I go, email, nah, you ain't gonna get no cancer, bro. Nah, 
Black and Miles, is, they ain't bad for you like that, bro. People just making shit up. I don't know. Did you're I lie? You're misinformed. You're denial. You yeah, you're gen did you I did not. Yourself? You're misinformed, but you're yeah. not lying. Sure. That's what she is. So let's not call her so a liar. So wait, so isn't she that worse that you're speaking on something that you don't even have clues about? Sure. A lot of people do so that. So that's worse. I do it too. That's fucking worse. We all do it. Oh, you're full of we shit. We all That's worse. No, She's out there promoting a no, message that she herself don't no. even believe in. No, so not. what are you, a talking parent? She does believe it. She don't believe no, it. So, believe it. So now we're picking no. and choose what we believe now? No. That's Come on, Jody. Funny. Yes, we pick and choose what we believe. We oh, so, so I don't believe this bitch then. Yeah, if I choose what we believe this bitch. you're not taking in anything that she said in this Bro, we're picking. 23 minute video. Oh, you're God. you're being picking, an old man I, in a wheelchair. First of all, I on was the, listening on to the this deck though. of your freaking She's cabin saying, don't come through here, naggers. You ain't welcome here. <laughs> you are old Uncle Ruckus on your deck. <laughs> and guess what, Be nigga? Mad and you. I'm proud of it, nigga. Fuck this bitch. Come on, keep going. Play the goddamn That's what video. happens. He didn't Play the goddamn the video. You heard what he said? F this I bitch. Fuck this bitch. We don't care. We don't care that young children, impressionable children are around. We don't care. One of the other things that I've noticed is that we don't have real parents. I agree huh? with that. I agree with that. Now, when I say these things, ladies and gentlemen, obviously we have incredible parents in the black community. For those of you who are watching, you're gonna yeah. say, I'm, I'm a real parent. Yes, you, you, well, if this does not affect you or apply to you, then leave it on the table. Just leave it there. This does not affect you. It does not apply to you. It's not going to apply to each and every one of you. But I'm talking about the individuals and you know the individuals I'm referring to when I say we don't have real parents. We have children masquerading as parents raising children and grandchildren. Yep. Yep. I, I know a that. grandmother who is in her 30s. I see young boys, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, standing outside, smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, hollering at other young ladies who are 11, 12, 13, and calling them the B word or calling them ho. I've seen this with my own eyes in our community. We have too many parents who want to be their children's friend more than their parent. We have devolved as a community in the sense that we had a time, and I'm sure many of you over a certain age remember, that if you messed up as a kid and your neighbor found out, I don't know how it is here in the States, but in the Bahamas, you, your neighbor used to discipline you. you. Your neighbor used to yuck you up real quick. You might get spanked, especially if you were like on the, on the other islands in the Bahamas, you, you just might get spanked by your neighbor. And if you were stupid enough i almost said bold enough but if you were stupid enough to go and say to your mother or your father that that person is spanked, then you get another cut hip <laughs> where you going reporting somebody because they tried to help you and in essence help me as a parent yeah, kids, bro, she, she, kept, you have she kept it the whole video it, it slipped out now or a friend or a neighbor or a virtual stranger now this is true trying to is. help they get trashed. Byron police charge Cambria Darby with child neglect. The Walmart employee who recorded the video has since been fired. She placed the boy in a cart basket only wearing a diaper. And that's when she started recording. You know, she was being like very rude and all that. So who are you? Teachers are quitting all over the country because they're fed up with not only low pay, but having to play warden and parole officer and corrections officer with children in their in their classes they have no power to deal with abusive students they have administrations that do not support them as a matter of fact they'll quickly dismiss a teacher fire a teacher before they get rid of a bad student that's true you have kids fighting teachers in school who wants to go to work every single day and be abused and have no recourse in the case yeah. of that physics teacher the student came back 30 minutes later and apologized. And I understand from a, a subsequent news report that, um, that that boy's mother also sent in an email apologizing to that teacher. But why are we expecting teachers to be skilled in de-escalation? They're there to teach. Uh -huh. They call that man, that teacher, a hero. I, I, I don't know about that. I felt like bad behavior was rewarded that day. And people are saying, oh, you know, you did the right thing. He did the right thing by sitting there and being abused. No. I totally disagree. There's never any excuse for well, that type well, of well, violence. And I know that had the roles been reversed and that man had pulled back and punched that boy, he would have been fired. He would have been called a racist. Yep. And maybe that's why he that's sat true. there and I he get, took I it. Who that. knows? I but it would have been completely over for him and his career you don't hit had he fought back. But that type of abuse is exactly yeah, why teachers are starting kid, to fight these kids back. I don't care how good of a teacher you are. I don't care how committed you are to the cause. 
I don't care how much you say you were meant to be a teacher, there's only so much abuse you can take. And this is precisely why so many teachers are quitting the profession altogether. Yep. And our kids are going to be the ones who suffer. And our society is going to be the one that suffers. I'm going to do a video on this in a, in a few weeks. Um, just kind of a deep dive into what's going on with the teaching profession and what they have to deal with. So if that's something that interests you, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell so you know when I upload that video. The final thing I'm going to say today, and, and this has been a very long video, but I did not want to condense this because I had so much on my mind and in my heart to talk about. Um, but I want to label this section, no laughing matter. What I found is that we take in the black community such delight in tearing each other down. I there agree. is a huge That's difference that. between yep. objectively critiquing someone in love because you care about them and you care about the collective and just tearing someone down. Look at the entertainment world in the past few months, particularly the comedy world and how over the past two months we've seen comedians going after one another in the most vile way, saying the most mean-spirited things to one another. I recently watched a video with Cat Williams, and I discussed that here on the channel. You can check that video out as well. And then later with Monique, who just can't seem to get out of her own way. After her interview on Shannon Sharp's Club Shay Shay, she went on stage, as she typically does, oh, yeah. and once again doubled down, insulting Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry and so many other people and saying the most disgusting things. I mean, I thought they were bad before, but they just went a step further. I don't know anybody who gets comedy from Monique. Nobody pays to see her do stand-up comedy. Shit. They pay to see stand-up grievances. Yeah. But what saddens me is the amount of people who support her and defend her actions. And it really is symptomatic of what we see inside of our communities. We like bad behavior. We tolerate it. We think it's funny. We think it's cute. We have a tendency to celebrate this type of behavior because we view someone like a Monique as the underdog you know, up against a machinery that is more powerful than her. I think there's also a more insidious quality. I think there, that a lot of us take delight in seeing someone who we view as powerful or successful being taken down a notch or two. We love seeing the mighty fall. And I think our desire to see that definitely clouds our objectivity. As for the way forward, like I think statement. it's high time that many of us in the black community stop giving our own people space to destroy our communities, mm. to destroy our culture and to destroy all the things that our ancestors worked so hard for. That's why I do all what I do. All the sacrifices that they made are being upended because some people are just being selfish. That's why I'm holding people accountable out here, bro. I'm calling out the bad actors, bro. I'm doing my part. Fish, and don't care about the greater good. It's time for us to stop being a safe haven for bad behavior. It's time for us to challenge politicians who want to keep us locked in our victimhood and dependent on them, who think you're too stupid to know right from wrong. Someone watched a video of mine last year, it was this video up here, and said, good video, too bad the people who need to hear it won't hear it. And my thought was, some seeds drop in good soil and some seeds drop on concrete. But I'm a firm believer that someone's gonna come along and kick that seed off the pavement and into soil. And whether that happens today Tomorrow, in a year, three years, or five years from now, the person who is meant to get the message will get it. And I cannot concern myself about the people who are who have closed their ears and their minds to the message. If that's what they choose to do, that's what they choose to do. That is life. But it will affect the right person. It'll make them think. So here's my question of the day, ladies and gents. What is the biggest challenge facing black culture today, as you see? Oh, what is the biggest challenge facing black culture today? <clears throat> Hip hop. Uh, Keon, what about you? Not knowing their own history, not knowing who they are or where they come from, not so, having so ignorance. Love. Amen. Believing social media, believing making social media become their lives and their future and their everything. You know, yeah, like yeah. you people, it's easy to pretend to be something that you're not. Yeah. yeah. Stop doing that. Tight, tight, tight. Uh, well spoken from this woman. I got. I say like. I can understand how some of you guys would hear what she's saying and you're hearing and you're getting demotivated. Like, how I can't live that life. That's not me. I can't live that square life. And you're thinking about, well, how do I live? How am I cool? How would I have a girlfriend? How would I, how can I be me with all those rules? It's really not that. It's like, you can still be your true self, but you just don't have to have, when you have the mentality to try to do something better in life, your body language, your words, things you say, and the in situations that you get yourself into will also change. Just let it happen. Give it a shot. That's all I'm saying. See you. 
Now, what do you guys think? Far as like, um, I mean, as we said before, far as like her saying about hip hop, I had a problem with that. I think that was pretty bullshit about she saying that, that she does not allow the negative to interfere with her. I thought that was bullshit, but a lot of stuff she was saying, I did, I did go by. As far as like fools dressing up and still sagging and shit, that's still asinine and dumb as fuck to me that you still do stuff like that because you don't have to. You can buy clothes that actually fit. It, that that are extra larges or extra bigger and not it's not sagging on you and your your ass is not showing where your butt crack is showing i agree with that um far as people coming into the stores and stealing this shit i got a problem with that as well too um people still because they find it it's easier to do you know what i'm saying it's easy for for the whole situation to go by once you still one time you want to you like oh shit i got away with it i can get it away with it again um, I agree with her on that. People shouldn't do things like that at all. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it is wrong. You, only, you do people do shit like that because you know, life is a struggle. O'Shea says that I don't understand why, as a culture and a community, that we have to undermine one another in thinking that it's cool to do so. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that as well. It's the crab of the barrel mentality, especially we. It doesn't help that we live in a capitalistic society, and it doesn't help that we're only playing with one dice. So the most successful blacks are the ones that whites that can we okay, we can separate you because you're you're more willing to play the game or you're more competitive or you're more willing to be a part of this chessboard than other blacks might would have or my other races that might would have. Now let's get him back to her. Um I probably agreed maybe forty percent what she was saying. Woo, forty percent. About forty. Oh my god. About forty. Four, less than half of what she said but, you agree with. What do you disagree heavily from what she said? Anything, so I can wreck your shit. <laughs> I didn't the, the 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 fucking wait. Go back here. Remind me what this was. Sure. I'll Is this the here. shit? I'll go back here. Go to the low, low hanging fruit. That, no, hey, no, we are elegant fashion? people. No, we are decent fashion? people. And at that time, a lot of girl proceeds to take. Seen him at least. Uh, his name is Fleece Johnson. No, it was he looks after like that. sagging. He was after that. Fuck! I didn't even see that. She and his <laughs> girlfriend or his child's mother or his wife, the B word. Saying the B word as black people to their to girl, women. I don't, I, I don't. It was early in the video. I have to rewatch. I don't remember. But so me. for a motherfucker to not agree with but, but, sixty percent of not what remember. she said, you can't I didn't come wake up, up with nothing. Because I didn't it wake just up. Just sounds like you're a toxic. It probably so. Uh, a probably passive so. is bullshit punk. No, about <laughs> passive is no because no, 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 passive no. is no. I'm far from a pacifist, but. I didn't wake up until she got to the parents part. So up, I was she, because I feel like okay. Yeah, my biggest issue with her is capping. You're I right. think the biggest he's the one that's capping, not her. I think he would. You're, he's going so far to disagree with her, like a lot of you in the like, chat are. Some I of you in the chat are doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Rather than just take what she's saying and listening to it. Now, I could critique what she said about the Biggie and the rap. The rap shit. She didn't want to. She's in den denial. I'm over that. But she, also, it's not that part. I believe that she's I just talking don't about her. what's happening. Maybe just She's her. talking about what's happening. And she's not talking about why. She never talks about the why. In this whole video, she's not she comes talking across about the prune, why. And I don't she's really talking about her. the state of, of where we are. Yeah, the state of where we are is trash. Everything she said is true. That's true. But the why is the part that kind of matters almost as much I as I feel like the, she cussed what? out somebody right before she's pressed play on this video. That's just the vibe I get from her. That's, that's not fair. That's the vibe you get from her. That's a that's reflection not fair. of how toxic that's you not are. Fair. That's not yeah, okay. fair. Hey, that's not fair, but that's the <laughs> message I got. At least I can, nigga, at least I can admit my toxicity. Yeah, what about you? True. Hey, bro. Can I'm you not, say I'm not, the same? I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. And I never. No, don't I use that ain't perfect. No, you're, you're, perfect. you're an apologist. I have. You're I, I, apologist I, I, I have for my, my black shit. people's bad behavior. Because I look at it like this: when we talk about we, our people's people, bad behavior, we talk behavior. about people. We you have to separate the people who who are who who do fucked up shit, and you got to separate the people who don't do fucked up shit. When people say all black people, I have a problem with people saying all black people. Not all. Not all black people do these type of things. Generally, not all speaking, black people are stealing. Not black, all black people are 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 being with fucked up ass hey, people. Hey, 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 black people are killing the most. All black people. Nope, I said black people. I go by mo it's most black people per capita are killing the most people in this country. Murder. Most. I, I don't. What does that mean? I don't like. I hate because when you say all black people, you're putting everybody in the in the fucking bubble. 
Everybody's in that bubble. No, Everyone's no, 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 in that no. bubble. When you, I'm, when I say black people, I'm generalizing. When I say white people, I'm generalizing. Asians can't drive, bro. <laughs> I'm about to change lanes now. Good luck, everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> When I go in, when I drive through Koreatown, I'm extra careful. <laughs> I have to be, because I'll, I'll get my sheep crashed into. Oh my God, it's Jackie Chan. Oh my God, it's Jackie Chan. That's versus the shit. Hey, Lee, <laughs> hey, bro. Yeah, it's, it's, it's bias. It's uh, stereotypical. But, it's but stereotypes are rooted in truths. There we go. There you go. Most of them. There you go. Do you believe that most stereotypes are rooted in the truth? Do niggas like chicken? Somewhat. Some mm -hmm. what I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They like watermelon. At first too. I didn't, but somewhat, somewhat hey, I do. Can I, can I, can I, can I tell you something? Do you like Jordans? Okay then, nigga. <laughs> Stereotype. See, I'm a nigga, it works. I like Jordans. <laughs> See, I just did it just now. Yes. Are black people thugs? Not all of them. Are... Is Be there is there is there a such thing as a white thug, a Chinese thug, an Asian thug, or is it just a black thug? You gotta separate from thug from a gangbanger. No, 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 no. A thug and a gay bear are two different things. Yes. That's you like a gorilla thug. and a bamboo. Is there such thing as an Asian thug? Yeah, that's Asian hood, bro. There, there, they, uh, Asian an thug. Asian thug. Yep. You know it ain't. Yep. No, yeah, that's you being a piece of shit. Yep. No accountability. You know. Out there. You know. No. 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 Gay bear, different no. story. Different story. No. No, they don't. They're not even called thugs. When when white boys, we don't even call them thugs. We what call them. They call bad boys. The thug. Oh, you going there? Oh, you going there? Oh, okay. okay. I see what you're doing. I get. It. Yeah, I see what you're saying now. I said thug. Yeah, but yeah, black people. Most black people. Ah, that's right. John Travolta is that in racist? Greece was I'm a thug. He was an absolute <laughs> thug in Greece. <laughs> But he was a bad it's racist boy. when you assume that everyone is a thug and they're not. No, I'm not talking no, about fuck all that. I just made a general statement. When you look at the, the the point of it, yeah. Black people like to rap. And box. And fight. And play basketball. And run. And um, play Call of Duty. They love hip hop. Mostly true. Yeah. All that shit is a general stereotyping. All that shit is stereotyping. <laughs> but bro, it comes from somewhere. That's why it's a stereotype. Mm -hmm. A st stereotype doesn't that work will unless save it's your life. truth. If there's no like truth mm -hmm. to the stereotype, it doesn't work. They say it's unfair. <laughs> yeah. It's not about being unfair. It's, you, it's a gauge. Asian girls got big old titties and booties. Cap. <laughs> See that? It won't work. <laughs> it won't work. <laughs> well, Asian Asian people are real petite. True. Yeah. That's another stereotype, though. There's positive stereotypes, too. I know, but I get I get yelled at for them like, every day. Okay. But it's all good. All right, for sure. I live in my truth. All right. Yeah, I'm just saying. The stereotypes somewhat are rooted, rooted But in nonetheless, maybe I need to watch her again. Maybe we can check it out again on no, a Wednesday. No, no, no. I well, think you that your soul is dark, my Oh. <laughs> I think your soul just not realizing dark. that. Uh, I think your soul is dark, my too. My soul is dark, <laughs> yes. Yeah, I got, hey, my, because my the pot is light, in the because kettle black. I got light. He we don't see give a, a black fuck. woman. We see a black woman holding people accountable, and you guys don't. I agree it. with a lot of shit she was saying. He don't agree, to, he don't agree nah, with none of that shit. Nah, nah. I don't believe her, but that's my fault. That's totally my fault. Some shit she was saying, I agree with I shot the messenger, and I usually don't like doing that, but I shot the messenger yeah, early in the video. The message Earlier true. in the video, so everything else is lost. Yes, I did. admitted it, though. Yes, I did. admitted it. Yes, you did. That. That's a good thing about you. But you, you're lost. Hopefully, <laughs> Keon will, will rub off on you some no, more, No, 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 he won't. I, I, just, I, just, I just find it just, it's sad. It's funny. It's depressing to see that us we are ignorant and blind ignorant is bliss there's a lot of us walking around here which only with only two eyes i got three a lot of us only here with two eyes bro don't see what time it is bro dumb as shit ignorant in the dark y'all got two eyes but y'all still somehow blind.